So in this Starfield video, I'm going to be showing you all another insane XP farm that you can do to level up really quickly. And this will also help boost up your skills too. This is an XP farm for those of you that don't like to craft the adaptive frames over and over. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Hope you all find this video enjoyable. And if you do, consider taking a little bit of your time sometime during this video and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. First things first, I just want to mention that I'm not the one that came up with this experience farm. I'll have a link in the description to the person who I first discovered this from. Feel free to check them out sometime. I gotta give credit where credit is due. But uh, yeah, as you can see, here is the experience farm in action. I am just continuing to take out these creatures that I have spawning here at my outpost. And there are loads of them that will continue to spawn here over and over. And they're going to be giving me quite a bit of XP per kill. It's estimated that you could get roughly around 15,000 experience per minute if you have great aim and you're very consistent on your kills. And for an average player, it's roughly estimated that you will get about 10,000 experience per minute. So yeah, you're going to be getting loads of experience and easy level ups by doing this. And once again, this is another easy way to be getting up your skills too at the same time. Because you're going to be having tons of these enemies spawning right at your base. And the best part about this is they're not hostile. So you don't have to be worrying about getting hurt at all. You just got to be worrying about having plenty of ammo. Which in this video I'll be showing you all how to get an infinite amount of ammo for completely free. I'll also be showing you where to get all the materials that you're going to need in order to build this setup for, once again, completely free. And I'll be showing you the skills that's going to be required, too, to make this setup happen. So, yeah, as you can see, you definitely get loads of experience by doing this. So, so the system of where this planet is located at to set up this XP farm is located right here. And for those of you concerned about this being really far away and it's a high level area, don't worry, you can still do this at a very, very low level. You could do this easily before you even reach level 10. You're just going to have to traverse your way over to this area. So, in case you don't know how to do that, you just have to make your way slowly across the galaxy system, which most of you should be familiar with Alpha Centauri, where New Atlantis is located at. So in order to get over to where I'm at, you'll have to fast travel to, you know, Cheyenne, and then to possibly Crix or somewhere, and then to possibly this area. You get it. You're going to have to make your way slowly but surely all the way over to here. Once again... The location is called Pyrus, I believe. But yeah, once you're here, you then want to head over to this area. Whoops. You then want to head over to this area, Pyrus 8A. It'll be located right next to this, Pyrus 8. It's one of the moons of that area. So yeah, once you're here, you then want to fast travel to anywhere around on this planet. Because first things first, what you're going to be needing to do when you get to this planet is scan all the creatures around in the area. You want to make sure you scan them to 100%. So that means you're going to have to scan multiple of the same kind of creature until it reaches 100%. There's going to be two different types of creatures that you'll have to scan to 100%. And it's not difficult whatsoever to get them scanned to 100%. Which, once you do that, you'll then be able to make these habitat stations where they'll just spawn here. And like I mentioned, these Guys are completely friendly. You don't have to worry about them attacking you back. So beneficial. And man, do these creatures look hideous. <laughs> but yeah, it's so beneficial, guys. But uh, one of the skills that's going to be required in order to do this is zoology. This is one of the skills that's mandatory. This is what you need to scan the creatures and to be able to place the creature spawner at your outpost. Also, you're going to need a skill in planetary habitation as well. This will allow you to build outposts on planets with deep freeze and inferno temperatures. And as some of you might have saw before landing on this planet, you can see to the left how the temperature is. As you can see, the temperature here is deep freeze. So yeah, you're gonna have to at least have one into planetary habitation and one into zoology. Once you have that, you'll then be able to build an outpost here. And after you've scanned all of the creatures at this planet, which doesn't take too long, just you know, search around in the planet, land at a random area on this planet, 
and eventually you'll find all the creatures. You're going to have to scan multiple of them. There's only two different types of creatures here, as you can see at the left side. There's two different types of primordial uh, creatures here. So yeah, once you got that done, you'll then be able to make this at your outpost, which I suggest finding an area on the planet that's flat. You're going to be finding rocky surfaces everywhere around on this planet. But in case you don't know, if you just build stuff over the rocks, they'll just disappear. So you don't really have to worry about them getting in your way or whatever. But yeah, if you go to builders here, as you can see, there's this uh, facility called Animal Husbandry Facility. And this is what makes these creatures spawn here. Once you put them in, they'll automatically spawn. I'll go ahead and do an overview of this place. As you see, I got basically a circle of these surrounding the middle of my outpost. I also have these storage containers right here, so I have a overview of the place so I can, you know, easily look around and take out the targets a little faster. See, I got a, a vantage point up here. Now, eventually, the dead bodies are going to start to, like, consume the area, and they're going to get a little confusing on what's what. Like, I thought those were alive for a second, so I started shooting over there. And a way to prevent that from happening is just make another outpost nearby. This isn't mandatory, but it helps make this a little bit more efficient. So you can despawn the dead bodies and, you know, stay on a roll of just taking out the creatures with the quickness. Um, but yeah, you don't have to technically be doing this with a gun either. You could be doing this with a melee weapon, whatever you got available that can take out creatures quickly. This is just one way to take them out pretty quick from up here and then just raining down fire on them. But yeah, uh, one suggestion is to make another outpost nearby. As you see, I have another outpost over there set up the exact same as this one. So once the dead bodies start to overflow the place after you farm this area for a while, you can just fast travel to your other outpost that you have and then just farm at this one for a while. And eventually the dead bodies will despawn at the other area. You want to make sure your outposts are kind of close together too. That way the dead bodies will be more efficient at despawning. Because if you have it on a whole other area on the planet, it's going to take a little longer for the bodies to actually despawn at your other outpost. If that makes sense. So just have your other outpost nearby where you're able to see the other outpost in the distance. <laughs> kind of confusing explaining it, but yeah, you should get the point. Just have the other outpost close by. And eventually the dead bodies will start to despawn at the other outpost you got going on to farm these creatures. You can see I got the same setup going on over here. Now I don't have to be worrying about wasting my ammo at dead bodies. I can just simply rain down fire at them. Now it's totally up to you if you want to have them further away you can. I prefer them closer up so I made at my other outposts the buildings are a little closer. This one they're a little further away. It all depends on your play style. Alright another level up that quickly. So now let's go ahead and get into the materials that you're going to need and how to get an infinite amount of ammo. So as you can see, you're going to need adaptive frames, reactive gauges, aluminum, and sealant. You can get all of this for completely free over at the Cheyenne system. So I'm going to start here from Alpha Centauri, where New Atlantis is located at, just because I know most players are familiar with this area. And from here, you just head over to the Cheyenne system, which is right here. And then once you're here, you then want to go to the Aquila planet and then fast travel to the Aquila city. There's a really easy glitch to do here to get all of the materials that's required for completely free and as well as ammunition for completely free too. So you can just stock up as much as you need from doing this glitch. Now once you're here, you just want to head into town by going this way and you can find a secret chest within a puddle over here. And this chest contains so much stuff, not only ammunition, as you can see. You'll get a free 5,000 credits each time you loot this. And there's tons of resources as well that you can get from here too. So yeah, if you head over to this chest, you can find the adaptive frames that you're going to be needing, the aluminum that you're going to be needing, as well as the sealant that you're going to need, and the reactive gauges. So you can get everything from this chest 
for completely free. You don't have to waste any money whatsoever. Also, you can get ammunition too, most importantly. So yeah, go ahead and pick up ammo that you need. Actually, oddly enough, ammo doesn't weigh anything, so you can just pick up all the ammo. You don't have to worry about your carry weight with that. And you can even find med packs and whatnot from this chest too. I mean, you can find all kinds of good stuff, including ship parts and stuff like that. But anyways, once you get what you want from this chest, to reset it, you're gonna have to wait 48 hours on this chair here. So you'll be able to pick up the adaptive frame, sealant, aluminum, and reactive gauges again to stock up on those so you can build more of those creature spawners at your outpost to do the XP farm, and you'll be able to pick up more ammunition too. But there's an important step after you wait the 48 hours. You wanna make sure you talk to the vendor inside here. You wanna make sure you trade with them. You don't have to purchase nothing. Just make sure you get into this menu screen here and then back out of it, and then you'll see that the whole chest has been restocked now. So yeah, keep that in mind. That's a very important step to do in order to get everything to spawn back into this chest to loot it again. So yeah, you just rinse and repeat this over and over and over to get the materials and ammunition that you're gonna need to do this experience farm. It's literally that easy, guys. But yeah, I guess that's not wrapping up this video. And as a reminder here at the end, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on this. The support is greatly appreciated. It'd be awesome to see this surpass, I don't know, a thousand likes or something. But as always, that's totally up to you if you wanna take the time to do so. Just leave a reminder here once again at the end. I'm out of here though. Thanks for taking the time, watching and listening. Until next time, peace.